so very good afternoon good evening good morning whichever time you are watching this uh, one uh, so i am making this video uh, as a kind of a tutorial to how to use uh, the nasa ce software to calculate the equilibrium uh, or to find out the equilibrium temperature as well as the equilibrium uh, concentration so i'll just share my screen okay so uh, okay just a second yeah so basically uh, i'll just start it from the beginning what you have to do so uh, on google you have to first uh, search uh, for this uh, nasa ca you just have to type it nasa ca just click it so the first option you get ca run just click on it okay now uh, since uh, our aim is to calculate the assigned uh, since our aim is to calculate the uh, temperature equilibrium temperature so using uh, uh, the rama murthy sir's uh, method we first initially assume a certain temperature and a pressure and uh, using iterations we calculate the equilibrium temperature and pressure so uh, in this we first uh, we go for the third one since we initially assume a certain temperature and pressure we go for the third option server okay now uh, let's say uh, you want to know the results uh, for different temperatures so let's say i want to first know the results for 2800 Kelvin, yeah. So the units you can select it here. Kelvin, two thousand eight hundred Kelvin. The second one I wish to know. Uh, okay, let's just find out for one temperature. Let's say three thousand Kelvin. I want to find out that three thousand Kelvin. And let's say my system uh, pressure is I've, I've selected atm. So let's say my system pressure is one atm. I've done that. So uh, I've checked the units, and now I'll accept it. then uh, uh, as far as my project was concerned i have chosen ch4 so let's do it uh, for ch4 in case uh, you, your hydrocarbon is something else you can uh, click on this use periodic table and you can follow the steps accordingly but in a simpler case i will just select ch4 and uh, uh, specify how to define the reactant mixture so i would say mole and uh, i'll accept fuel selection cut and let's say the oxidizer i'm going for o2 and not liquid o2 but gas is o2 and i'll again um accept it so uh now uh we have to select uh, since uh, we are considering uh, an equivalence ratio let's say my reaction is not uh, taking place as per the stoichiometric uh, uh, ratio but it's taking place uh, maybe in a lean way or a rich way let's say i select uh, the equivalence ratio and then uh, let's say in my case my equivalence ratio came out to be 1.33 that was a bit rich so i've uh, used this value 1.33 that is my equivalent ratio and i'll accept it so you can check the parameters we have entered uh, my pressure in atm is 1 atm my temperature which uh, which i want to know at is 3000 kelvins and my phi that is equivalent ratio is 1.33 and what do you want to do upon clicking submit i want to perform a cea analysis so submit and they simply produce uh, a range of results and you can see they have calculated the mass fractions and also the thermodynamic uh, properties and uh, yeah they have uh, basically calculated every other thing which you wanted the details they have calculated so you can uh, validate it uh, with your code okay uh, thank you